Hi everyone, so for this next Scratch session, what we're going to be doing, taking some of the things that we've been learning in the last sessions, and we're going to use that today to create a, uh, a little thing today um, around body systems. So we're going to choose uh, the digestive system today, and we're going to create a little explanation around the digestive system using Scratch and some of the coding things that we've been learning over the last few weeks. So how are we going to do this today? A little bit different. Instead of uh, starting a new project and creating from the top today, we're actually going to remix uh, an existing project. So you'll find the link to this project. It's uh, going to be in the description to this video as well as being, if I post this on Seesaw, it's going to be on there as well, so that you can click that as well. So uh, the link, I'm going to put this in, and this is what we then see. So this is a project called the Digestive System, just here. Now, what we want to do is that we want to take this project and we're going to work on it. And at the moment, what we don't have at the top is the little remix button to be able to take this project and do it. So I'm going to need to sign in first before we can do that. So I'm going to sign in to Scratch at the top. And now what we can see is this little green button that says remix. Okay, so when I click on the Remix button, what it's going to do is to make a copy of this project for me that I can then work on. Okay, so what this project has in it, a few things that, uh, that might be useful for us. So let me uh, move myself just over here. There we go. Okay, so inside this project, what we can see, we've got uh, quite a lot of different sprites already created in here, all to do with the digestive system. And uh, we can see one of them is on the screen at the moment, which is this one here. Now, I can hide this one if I don't want to show it, or I can show it again there. I can do the same with the others as well if I wanted to show some of these, or I can hide them again like that. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to... Uh, I think I'm going to start with this one, and we're going to begin by just uh, welcoming people to our explanation about the digestive system. So uh, let's look at some of the things we did before. So we're going to start this with the flag again. So when we click the flag at the top here, it's going to begin, and I'm going to start with a sound. Now uh, I'm going to record a sound on here. Yours will be blank here when you come in. Uh, so if you remember from before, we can come down here, we can record a new sound by pressing the record button, and we see this hopping up and down, that tells us. You might get a box that comes up, said, do you want to allow uh, Scratch or your web browser to use the microphone? We'll need to click allow so that it works. Uh, but then you should see this little bar hopping up and down with my voice. So I'm going to record um, just a little welcome to go with this. Welcome to my explanation of the digestive system. And then when we stop it, we can, just like we did before in previous lessons, we're going to get rid of the quiet bits, and then we're going to click Save. Okay, so it's called this one Recording 1. I'm going to change its name, call it Welcome. If we go back to the code now, we can then play the sound Welcome when we start. So let's just test this out. Welcome to my explanation of the digestive system. That's great. So then this one here, I want it to hide then, because I don't want this, uh, this big picture up, so I want to bring up some of the little ones. So I'm going to choose Hide from inside Looks and drop it on the bottom there. Uh, and then what else do we want on here? Yeah, so now what we want to do is to then have some of these others pop up then, and then it's going to tell us the next piece that happens in the digestive system. So how are we going to do this? If we recall from what we did before, we can send these secret messages. So I'm going to send, ah, oh, mine's called message two now. Yours is going to probably be called message one when it comes up, I think. Um, so we're going to broadcast message one. So as I said before, this is like a secret message that's passed to all of the other sprites. We can't see these messages, but they're passed out, and the other sprites can look for them. So what we'll have is then the food, 
is going to say, well, when I receive this message just here, what I'm going to do is that I am then going to show myself. So the food is then going to pop up. And I want this also to be the mouth and the teeth and chew. Okay, so I'm going to copy this code. And how we do that is to drag it from here and drop it onto the one we want. So drop it on mouth, drop it on teeth, drop it on chew. There we go. Okay, so now if I look in mouth, it has that same code, teeth and chew. So if we play our little sequence now, let's see what happens. Welcome to my explanation of the digestive system. Okay, so these guys then pop up and the other one hides, which is exactly what we asked it to do. Okay, now at this point, I've got a bit of a problem because if I play it again, these ones are now here and the digestive system is hidden. So let me go back to that one and I'm going to make it so when I press the flag this one is always going to show itself. And these ones here let me have well when the flags clicked right at the start these guys are actually going to hide. And I'll put that code on all of them as well. So when we first click the flag these guys are going to hide and the other one's going to show. So let's try that. Welcome to my explanation of the digestive system. Okay, then that one pops up. So let's have the food start to explain to us um, a little something here. So let's go to sounds and sounds. Again, yours will be empty. And I'm going to record a little sound for the food now. The digestive system starts with our food. We put it in our mouth and we use our teeth and our tongue to chew and to break it down into smaller pieces. Okay, again, make sure I've got all the wavy bit in there because that's the talking. Click save. I'll call that one chew. Okay, back to my code. So let's have the food is going to play that sound. Okay, now I don't want to play it on all of these because Otherwise, it will have the sound playing over the top lots of times. So I'll only have the food say that one. But the mouth, we could have the mouth do something. Let's have it think yummy. Okay, so the mouth is going to come up with a little speech bubble and say yummy. The teeth, let's have them do something as well. So when they receive the message one, what they're going to do, they're going to show up. And then let's have them change size by 10, but I don't just want them to do it once. We're going to use that repeat here. Oops, repeat. And maybe repeat six times. It's going to change size by one, then wait for a second. And then we're going to change the size back again by minus 10. So it adds on 10 to the size, waits a second, and then it changes it back to the size it was before. And then it repeats this six times, but I'm going to need one more wait in there as well here because I want it to wait before it then repeats it again. So our program now should be digestive system. If you click the flag, it's going to show up, tell us welcome, hide, send a secret message out to all the other sprites. The food, well that's going to hide when we first click the flag, but when it receives this secret message it's going to then show up again and it's going to play that sound talking about chewing our food. The mouth is going to be thinking yummy and the teeth are going to be going bigger and smaller. So let's play it through and see what happens. Welcome to my explanation of the digestive system. The digestive system starts with our food. We put it in our mouth and we use our teeth and our tongue to chew it to break it down into smaller pieces. Hey, that working great now. So next thing we want to do, after that's happened, so after the food's finished saying that one, what we want it to do then is going to send another message now. So I'm going to broadcast. Now I've already got message two here. You probably won't have that. So you do a new message. You could type in message two. Okay, so it's then going to send message two. And we could then have, well, let's have all of these. When we send that message, 
when it actually receives message two, all of these guys at the top, they're going to hide. And let me copy that code to all of the others. All right, so they're now all going to hide when they receive message two. And then the next lot, so saliva, swallow, esophagus, these three are all going to then show up. So let's say events. When I receive message two, because this is saliva now, I'm going to show. Okay, let's copy that to swallow. Let's copy that to esophagus. Okay, and they're all then going to show up. So let's play through from the beginning now and see if that all works. Welcome to my explanation of the digestive system. The digestive system starts with our food. We put it in our mouth and we use our teeth and our tongue to chew it, break it down into smaller pieces. Okay, then those guys disappear and these ones pop up. All right, so this is one way of doing it by keep passing messages. So we could then have another sound now just going to explain the next piece. I'll stop after this one, so I won't go all the way through to the end, but I'll just show you this one. We use saliva to help us swallow the food, and it works its way down our esophagus. Okay. Save it. Of course, swallow. Okay. And that sound is then going to play from the saliva one. Okay, and again, we could have these ones animate or do something or move around or change color or spin around, whatever we want them to do. Okay, and then we could then make a new message, broadcast message. We could make a message three, and then we could pass that on to the stomach, digestion, and the small intestines. And we could keep doing this as we work through the body system. Okay, so we'll actually continue this um, on into next week because we'll look at some other things that we can do with this and we'll also look at how we can then share our projects um, as well and be able to put them all in a studio so that everybody in the class is able to see the things that we've created. But have a go today at trying to first off remix this project. So when you go to the link, make sure I save this one at the top. So when you come to the project in the first case so you come to the project, try remixing this project, okay, just as we did before, and then try and use some of these things to begin an explanation of the body system, uh, of the digestive system, sorry, using our voice, using some of the messages, using some of the looks, so maybe some of the speech bubbles and things. If you don't always want to record your voice, you could use some of these as well to show our explanation. But try and start with that and see how far you can get with it. You don't need to finish that yet because we're going to pick up on that in the next lesson. And then we're going to, uh, then we're going to together see if we can uh, finish those off, maybe add a couple of extra little bits and then look at how we share our finished project. So good luck.